this big old fire here and today I'm going to do that uh, protein bar video that everybody's been wanting me to do. So um, without further ado, here's what you need. You're going to need some oats and I've already got this pre-mixed with your protein powder. The protein powder I used is um, the Nitro Tech by Hardcore Pro Series. You're going to need reduced fat Jif Creamy, the best. There's your oats. Doesn't have to be any name brand, just any old oats would do. Old fashioned. Old fashioned oats. And you need some ground cinnamon and some honey. Also down here, you will see um, some cranberries, water for mixing, and a banana. The reason why I have a banana in this mix is because the protein powder that I, I'm using is a, a strawberry banana flavor. So throw a banana in there, kind of helps with the flavoring. So we're going to throw our cup of cranberries in. And I don't pile it all on and then mix it. Mix each thing once at a one at a time. So you got that. Take your banana and just kind of like chunk it. You don't really need a blender if you want to use a blender, you can, but the problem with blenders is um, it gets caught behind the blade, the protein powder and everything's kind of thick, so um, it's kind of a hassle. So once you do this, you're going to mix in your honey. Some people use, um, some people use um, syrup for their, their sticky mix. Um, but you gotta have, um, since we're baking this, you gotta have something sticky that can solidify inside the mix. So that's what I use is honey. The honey that I'm using is nothing special. It's um, something probably from Lowe's, um, but it's just clover honey, all natural, fat free. Fat free. Yeah. And I, and just one tablespoon will do. You don't need a whole lot. And then you're gonna take your water. This is just plain water. And you're gonna drizzle a little bit in, and you'll just mix it with your hands. And you know, you can try other things like spoons or forks, but really, you're not gonna get the mix you want um, unless you use your hands. Because it just. So now that we've got our uh, our thick, sticky mess here, or what my son likes to call tata, you're gonna take this whole thing and place it on a sheet of aluminum foil, and then just press down. And again, your hands are the best thing. I mean, spatulas, it's just. Since it's so thick, it's just a pain to try and use tools for this. You really just gotta use your hands. And if you're changing diapers, you know, wash your hands before you do this. Because that's, that's freaking gross, people. Alright. Spread it out. Right, it doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, so now, just so it's easier, because um, once you bake this, it, that's the shape it's going to take, and you want to cut your bars out of this. So now just kind of round off your edges. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, if you're a neat freak or whatever, OCD, and you got have straight lines, then so be it. But um, I just kind of round mine off. Looks really good. Yeah. So I know y'all's mouth is watering, because mine is. Alright, now I didn't make a lot because, um, to be honest with you, I'm cheap and protein is very expensive. <laughs> so um, I didn't want to use all my protein to make a huge batch. Um, so I kind of made a miniature batch just for this video. Alright, so before um, you place this in the oven to bake, you're just going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top. 
Um, cinnamon uh, is rumored to help burn fat. Um, I'll try and look up some uh, facts for you guys and post it if I can, if I got enough time. Um, but uh, just it didn't have to be perfect. Just kind of sprinkle it everywhere. All right. All right. So now we're ready to put this in the oven. All right. So we have preheated our oven to 350. And we are ready. Yes, I have an imaginary third hand. <laughs> All right. So just place it in there. Mama. Okay, so now we put it uh, in the oven. And there's no real set time. So just watch it. Make sure it doesn't um, get burnt. Here in a second, we're going to spread our peanut butter on top. Um, but before you do that, you want to make sure that it's starting to solidify a little bit before you spread it on there so you don't tear up the mix. Okay guys, so um, they're pretty much done. You can look and see like the bottom, like the leftover um, pieces are starting to burn. That's, a, that's a, an idea that it's getting pretty much done. Um, you'll feel it and it'll be kind of like a rubbery, a rubbery feel. And then now, they're pretty much done cooking, but now you're just gonna put them in with some peanut butter on, just enough to, for the peanut butter to get a little crispy, and then you'll be done. The reason why you don't put this on top in the first place is because the peanut butter burns really fast. So you just want this to get a little, a little hard, um, not too much. So we'll put it on. All right. So the peanut butter is not an exact measurement, obviously, but it's probably going to be. Um, Probably two to three tablespoons, big tablespoons of peanut butter. You're just gonna put it back in and, and really watch it, okay? Don't don't burn your bars. You're gonna say, hey, the peanut butter's not that hard. It'll get harder once you let it cool down. Okay? So it'll be good, don't worry. Okay guys, it's been about a minute and a half. So we are going to take them out and let them cool off. And when you open this up, it's going to smell so freaking good. But if you see, I don't know if the camera can show you, but you can see the peanut butter starting starting to harden where it's not so glossy. Um, that's perfect. That's exactly what you want. And then just let it sit on top. Just let it sit on top and cool off for about five to eight minutes. Okay, guys, so um, we let the protein bars cool off. The, the peanut butter on top is meant to be gooey. That's your gooiness um, to make the bar not taste so dry. So, um, you know, it's not something that uh, is going to be hard on top. All right, so now we're going to cut it. And you just want to make your, you know, I like my bars long and thin. So um, just cut them like this. All right, so hey, guys, um, this is the bars cut up. Um, I cut them pretty thin. I just like them that way. I put them in the uh, freezer to help the the peanut butter kind of solidify anymore. But don't keep them in the freezer. They will harden and crack. You don't want them to be hard, okay? Um, but that's what a bar looks like. Let's taste it. Mm. Here, let's have some. Let's have some guest tasters. Guest taster. Okay. So, Cameron. Can't do it. I have to She's allergic to peanuts. Grab one. Any one. Okay. Take a bite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it good or bad? Tastes pretty good to me. That's right, people. And it can be yours, too, for $29.99 a bar. <laughs> Just email me.